Hello guys, I want to welcome you to Boy Sins Beyond, but the other boy Sin isn't here yet. Let's see if I can go and find him. I found him. <laughs> hey, what's up? Um, guys, we're still on our series about South Africa and today we want to share with you six towns that we've personally been to and loved and six towns that we would really like to travel to and to see in the near future Okay, so first up, I think one of my favorite towns since I've been a child was Pilgrim's Rest which is in Pumalanga and just generally the whole area is really great Graskop is a town that is like six kilometers from Pilgrim's Rest um, which is also great and it's located in between all these beautiful nature attractions like books, bottles and um, Mac Mac Falls, a lot of waterfalls and stuff like that. Also, the Kruger National Park isn't far from there. But Pilgrim's Rest is a little historic museum town which started in the late 19th century as a mining town and now it is a tourist attraction and you can go there and see like all the little historic buildings and there are really nice restaurants, little shops and um, it's just a really nice town to visit, have some breakfast and um, include during the day that you spend around there. One of my favorite towns is Underberg in the KwaZulu Natal and it's the southernmost town from the southern Drakensberg and uh, there's lot, lots of activities to do like hiking, mountain biking, horse riding and it's about an hour's drive away from the famous Sony Pass which is a gorgeous extreme road that you have to take to drive into Lesotho and to cross a border so it's a really gorgeous area and there's just so many activities I'll leave a link below for you to go check out when we drove the Sony Pass <laughs> I think another one of my childhood or towns that comes from childhood favorites is Margate which is a very popular destination for us city rats from Gauteng and um, it's a great coastal town in KwaZulu Natal which has a really great summer beach vibe, vacation vibe and the towns, oh, the towns restaurants and uh, pubs and shops and everything is really close to the beach walking distance so um, you and your family can settle there for the day and everyone can go their separate ways and enjoy the beach. So that's really a great um, time. Me and Altus actually saw each other on his sort of um, senior spring break. I went into the ocean to swim and when I came out my sister and her now husband just left me there all by myself without a towel or anything. And um, these guys were like right next to us. So uh, <laughs> me, 15 year old, very shy girl, stood there in my bikini, didn't know what to do, but they were all gentlemanly and then finally my sister came and rescued me. <laughs> um, but I would, wouldn't suggest visiting Margate in uh, December or January or even in um, Easter holiday because it gets quite busy when the school's out in South Africa. One of my favorite towns is Wilderness in the Western Cape. It's also a coastal town that's in the middle of the garden route and it's a beautiful area with mountains, hills, forests and beautiful beaches. And the beaches are a nice place to go to for holiday because it's got a warm current and it doesn't have any bad weather from the Cape. So it's one of the perfect destinations. And there's many rivers that melt into the ocean and there's one uh, famous one called the Kaimans River which got a very nice railroad bridge going over it where you can take lots of pictures and it's a really nice area to go to. Instagram worthy place. Yes. <laughs> and uh, if you go a little bit upstream it winds through the hills and it kind of outlines an uh, area that looks like Africa. So there's actually a route that you can take up the hill that's called the map of Africa route and there you can see Africa or the outline of Africa from the top and close to you there's a, a launch place for paragliders so basically there's a lot of activities to do in that area if you go further down into wilderness there's many restaurants and nice places that's got really good seafood and there's this one place that sells a ginger beer beer that you really gotta try and it's very good 
Not too far from wilderness and a bit inland is the cool town of Oetzwering, which is the ostrich capital of the world, um, as it has the highest population of ostriches. And this town actually mostly relies on tourism and the ostrich farmers, and they've managed to really intertwine the two really well. So you can go visit an ostrich farm and if you're a small adult or a big kid <laughs> you can ride an ostrich and you can learn a lot about them. They have all different kinds of ostriches from around Africa. And um, the Congo case is also in Otsuring. Otsuring is really cool. It's this really nice Karua town in the middle of nothing basically. But it has great restaurants. And that's really one of my favorite towns. I don't know why. It's just got a lovely vibe about it. <laughs> One of my favorite towns is Jacobs Bay that's in the Western Cape. It's a really small coastal town with a gorgeous bay area. And on the one side of the bay, there's a small restaurant called West Coast Pluck, which translates into West Coast Place. So it's a really creative name. <laughs> but anyways, um, there's not a lot to do, but it's one of my favorite places because it's a place you go to if you really want to let steam off, just let go, just relax, just chill, if you know what I mean. Um, there is a few stuff to do like horse riding. They also have a trail that you can do. It's a three day trail and they call it the five bay trail that goes from Paternoster all the way to Jacob's Bay. And uh, overnight you stay in three to four star hotels and uh, it sounds like a lot of fun. We haven't done it but it sounds like something we really want to do. But yeah, Jacobs Bay is a really beautiful place and like I said, it's a tranquil place. Okay, so just to recap, I think uh, the six towns that we really like to visit is Moorgate, Pilgrim's Rest, um, Underberg, Wilderness, Wilderness and uh, Oatswaring. Yeah, and Jacobs Bay. Yes, um, but we just like to highlight that, you know, there's many other bigger cities like Cape Town and Nelspruit and um, you know beautiful cities as well but we like to highlight the lesser known places or less popular places yeah so don't let that deter you from um, exploring the bigger, bigger cities as well as they are great too but um, let's head into the six places that we would really love to visit still that we haven't gotten around to yet and um, again it's probably not gonna be big cities but yeah um, okay <laughs> One of the places I really want to visit in South Africa is called Mahubas Kloof. It's in the Limpopo province and I've only heard people say the name and I never really realized how beautiful it is until I googled it one day and actually a few weeks ago we wanted to go there but we ran short of time so we didn't get a chance to actually go over there but um, the area looks really beautiful um, and I hear great things and it sounds like uh, there's a lot of uh, outdoorsy stuff to do in that area and it looks beautiful all year round in the summer in the winter so it's definitely a must visit for me and I can't can't wait to go over there yeah I think especially Limpopo I feel like is a really underrated province in South Africa not necessarily popular for tourism yeah I would really like to discover or explore Limpopo especially a little bit more and I'm actually glad we didn't go because we only had two days. Mm. So next time when we go, we can go and pack our camping gear for a week <laughs> or something. <laughs> and spend some more time and quality and time. And make some beautiful videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the other side of the country in the Western Cape, um, there is a town that is in a valley, which is called Cirrus. And um, it's an hour and a half from Cape Town, so it's really easy to get there um, for a day or a weekend even. Mm. But we haven't gotten around to it yet. We actually have a friend that, friend that lives there that we would like to go and visit as well. But it looks like a beautiful area. They grow a lot of fruits in that area, uh, which they export. And they also make a juice there, which is called Cirrus. And it's a very popular juice in South Africa. <laughs> very original name. One of the towns that I would really like to visit is Uppington in the Northern Cape. It's in the middle of nowhere, but it's on the banks of the beautiful Orange River. So it's one of the longest rivers in South Africa, but it feeds many farmers in that area. It brings water to vineyards and fruit farms, and it's really a beautiful little town. And uh, there's actually a, a power solar plant in that area. 
and it's one of the first solar plants that actually made its first 100% solar power in the first 24 hours and uh, it's a massive massive project and it helps a lot of people in the area with electricity wasn't it also the first one in Africa yeah also the first one in Africa it's a solar tower power plant so it's kind of a tongue twister and if you're a car enthusiast oh yeah how could I forget <laughs> um, Uppington is actually also famous for the roads now it sounds strange but it's a really arid area so in the winter time it gets very cold and in the summer time it's extremely hot so a lot of famous car makers uh, they test their prototype cars there uh, there's a lot of super car manufacturers as well that's got prototypes and very exotic and exclusive cars that they test in Uppington in that area and it's also got one of the longest runways in Africa uh, at the Uppington airport so they can test top speeds over there and uh, yeah it's, it's actually quite interesting Another place that we haven't gotten around to that we're really excited to visit in South Africa is Coffee Bay which is located on the what they call the Wild Coast and that is in the Eastern Cape and um, it just looks like a really cool chilled vibe area and um, we'd love to visit there and just relax there for a few days they say that you can see cattle and donkey and wild horses on the beaches and um, yeah, that, I think that's really cool. I love to photograph, uh, take photographs of that. And um, yeah, we just want to visit. But they suggest that you take a 4x4, four four, so I think that's part of why we haven't really gone yet. But hopefully soon. Yeah, there's also a really famous landmark in Coffee Bay called the Hole in the Wall. Yeah. Which is a really cool thing to see, I guess, because I haven't seen it in real life, but everyone's talking about it. Um, so yeah, we really want to go there. Mm -hmm. Uh, a place that I want to visit in South Africa really badly is not a city or a town. It's called the Namakwaland. Now it's a big region that stretches from Bintuki, Namibia all the way to the Northern Cape in South Africa. Now it's 150,000 square mile and 388,000 square kilometer area that consists of 4,000 different flower species and plant species and from August to September each year it's one of the most uh, beautiful and extravagant flower shows in the world so there's natural shows. natural shows yeah natural shows so there's people traveling from all over the world to go and see how, see the flowers and see how they bloom and all that so I'm really really curious to see how that looks so maybe next year we'll get a chance to visit that area Hogsback is another town I really want to visit. I actually saw it for the first time in the Getaway magazine, um, which is a popular travel magazine in South Africa. And it looks really beautiful. It's in between this, these beautiful mountains in the Eastern Cape. And um, you might have seen an Instagram post about it, people sitting in this old bathtub in the middle of nowhere overlooking a valley. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of strange because they have clothes on. It's not like they're taking a bath. It's just a random bathtub on top of a hill and you just look over this gorgeous valley so it's strange but it makes a good Instagram post mm -hmm, definitely and um, one of the first settlers there was um, Thomas Somerton which was a British guy that was a gardener at Oxford University and he went there and he made our beautiful gardens and his legacy continues so they say there's really beautiful gardens there as well and uh, I'd like to go see that and see the town and visit it, just relax for a while. Yeah, it looks like a really chilled area. Although we just told you about our six favorite places that we visited and six places that we want to visit in the future, there's many other places in Southern Africa that we would like to visit and that we still like that we visited in the past. Um, like cities, Cape Town, uh, Durban, Port Elizabeth, Johannesburg, uh, Nalspray. They all got cool stuff to do and to see and beautiful areas to visit and take photos and um, we want to make towns more famous that a lot of people doesn't know about so um, we just like to tell you about the different places that we like to see and that we already seen. We recently had to go back to South Africa um, from the United States where we work um, to go and attend to a personal family matter and it was a 
sad tragedy but it just really um, reminded us that you know life really is short and it's such a cliche thing to say I know but we just want to remind you to go out and explore or explore yourself wherever you are and um, I mean you don't have to be big world travelers you can take your family for a weekend your kids and go hike a nearby mountain or you know just go and experience different things in life and um, through that you can experience what your true passions are because it's difficult if you're living the same life every single year um, you know and you there's always this big hype about bucket lists but it's an endless thing like you can have five years or 50 years don't have a bucket list and you think the last 20 years of your life you're going to be able to complete that um, make a point of it every year to do new things and experience new stuff <laughs> yeah get out there experience life and meet different people explore the world see different stuff and taste different foods see different cultures and it's such an interesting planet that we live on there's so many different stuff to see don't just live a grey boring life just get out there and have an adventure and um, I think that's one thing that I love about South Africa you don't have to travel <coughs> to all walks of all, all different countries and you have so such a big you have such a big diversity just within South Africa I mean you can meet so many different cultured people and um, talk to them and learn things from them so yeah that's a great reason to visit South Africa as well <laughs> and um, as always we would just want to thank you for watching our video and um, we hope that you subscribe below and please follow us on Facebook as well and Instagram and we really appreciate your time you know everyone's busy so yeah thank you <laughs> and thank you for your time and we'll see you guys next week and um, thank you for taking an interest in our country South Africa <laughs> bye cheers But um, they say that it's a really wild area and you can see cow. Cow? Cow. You can see cow. Mamili. I will prove it. I can't help it. This is hilarious. You can see cow. Cow. It's cow. Cow. No. Kijk voor mijn koren dan. Wacht het niet. Kijk voor mijn koren en kijk voor de camera. Zo. I'm going to say okay now. Okay. Oops, it's okay. It's not clear, it's not clear. Yeah, it's not clear. Okay, for me, not the camera.